Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to Utah. I'm here at Sierra Cars and Life Motorsport. Yesterday, I drove 12 hours, three states, one time zone, six, 700 miles, something like that. It was a long haul, uh, but I made it. And today, we are going out with the guys at Sierra Cars in one of their awesome little buggies into the desert to just go rip around. Now, if you don't know what Sierra Cars are, we'll go check them out in just a second here, but I've been following them on Instagram for a while. They are the biggest boys toys you could possibly imagine. Uh, I've just had a quick look around the workshop uh, to see what they do here and Oh my goodness, you guys are really in for a treat. I am so excited because we basically get to go out into the Utah desert and apparently, as Cole was saying, who's the owner here, it was empty. The last time they were here, it was totally empty. There was no one out, so we should have the whole place to ourselves. We can go rip this thing around in the dirt and the sand on the hard pack, go do jumps in it. Like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So without further ado, let's go in. Let's appreciate this here, this lime green. I don't know the official color, but this lime green GT3 RS. That is sick. There is also, I don't know if you can see it over there, there is a Porsche uh, right here. The old, uh, K uh, what is it, not the Cayman, the other one, the Cayenne, uh, with some tires stacked up in the back, Baja style. So they've already got a lot of good stuff. So let's go check them out and I'll show you the cars that we are gonna be playing with. So everybody, this is Cole. So he is the owner here at Life Motorsport and Sierra Cars. And he very kindly accepted my request to come out and drive some of the cars. Uh, I hit you up on Instagram and I was just like, dude, I wanna come drive them. One of many. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> I, I feel very grateful for that. So um, yeah, if you can just kind of tell everybody like a little bit about the cars, yeah. like what they are. Yeah, so it's it's the American take on the European cross cart. Okay. So cross cart's been around for a long time and I drove one, I really liked it, but it fell short in a bunch of areas. You know, we're, we're from Utah, we do a lot of off-road racing, desert off and like mountains and stuff. Um, I'm an asphalt racer by trade, uh, and so I wanted something I could go and do an asphalt track day with or go out and rip in the desert, and the Sierra was born. So this is it. three years later, this is one of our, this is a 2019 prototype. Um, we've retrofitted some of the 2021 parts that we're gonna be testing today. So this car has electric power steering, more suspension travel and a couple other goodies that uh, are on our new 2021 cars that we've been building so uh, we've been prototyping and developing for three years and 2021 is our first production chassis so i'm ready to share it with the world dude they are they're so wild so they're a hayabusa motor yep sequential gearbox yep tons of fun dude all the fun <laughs> it's super lightweight like i race big heavy cars and high horsepower and downforce and all that but uh there's always something to be said about a really lightweight car and so you start with a great uh, engine platform like the Hayabusa has been for years and put it in a lightweight, extremely safe chassis that's super versatile. So yeah. with simple sway bar change, you can put slicks on this same car or you can put on the off-road tires. We can put paddle tires on and go to the sand dunes yeah, with the same exact car. So I've taken the same car from the sand dunes to the asphalt track day. I rolled it out of the trailer with the paddles still on it. The guys <laughs> thought I was crazy. Switched over to the slicks and did the track day. So. Um, it's it's meant to be one weapon for all these different surfaces and power to weight ratio is the key no matter what motor, motor sport you're in right. so um, we started with that and then all the suspension wheels and tires can be just modified for different purposes so um, like over there you have something that runs on racing slicks that's a Pikes Peak car so we've raced Pikes Peak the past couple of years with these as well right. it's the same chassis it's the same car um, that was a rally cross car uh, before right. it was converted to the Pike Speed car. So same car, just a little bit lower to the ground, put the slicks on it, big wings and let it rip. It's so fun, it is so fun. And so we're actually gonna be out today with Rob as well. Um, so he's here wrenching. So this is, it's Chair Slayer, right? Yeah. On Instagram, so go check him out on Instagram. Um, and so we actually have these hand controls in here. Is that what you're working on right now? Getting yeah, those dialed in? Yeah, I'm taking it out so you can drive it. Okay, oh, okay, cool. So um, yeah, we're gonna be going out and uh, having fun. You're gonna be driving it in the desert as well though, right? Yeah, this is the first time I've ever driven one. After working He's on- He's been in here from the very, very beginning of it. Like I met him because I was trying to like buy cross carts. Right. And I knew who he was and he was the, like the lead designer on the car um, at this other shop. And so we met and it was just like, hey, we work really well together and yeah. we believe in the in the product and we believe that it's, it's, everybody should have one. Um, but unfortunately, he hasn't had a chance to drive one yet. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, we, we just got one. a recluse clutch and that changes everything. Yeah. 
it makes it really simple to do a hand control system so you've got throttle and brake yeah so it should be pretty good like we've had all the intentions to put hand controls in it i have like everything to make a full paddle shift with the clutch type setup just never had the time <laughs> the recluse system like if i could just put hand controls in it it's easy but all the other stuff was pain in the ass so now we got recluse clutch which is just cheating so we're gonna do that yeah that's awesome <laughs> yeah. You, you waited for the technology to come to us <laughs> yeah, our yeah. laziness paid off yeah, like, exactly. we procrastinated for over two years and then it's like oh we have this technology that yeah, you can do it in half a day it. now yeah exactly that was way easier than yeah. spending a week trying so, to make hand controls you hear that kids just wait for the technology to come to you don't try too hard <laughs> yeah. and the other cool thing the other cool thing i was like is there any way that you can make these road legal and Cole's like, yeah, of course, no problem. You buy the new one and yeah, it's, you can register it. Not Absolutely. in California, so you have to be a bit creative. But um, Well, parts of California, you could probably do it because it's a kit car. So uh, if okay. you can register a kit car somewhere, uh -huh. it, it, you just have to jump through the same hoop. So some places require wheel you hear that? Bearings, some places require wipers. Um, I just think LA would probably be one of the hardest counties. To well, I'm Orange County now. I'm not LA. I'm Orange County. So, you know, it's a little bit easier maybe. <laughs> But um, yeah, because I, dude, I would love to take one of these on like a camping trip. Oh, dude, I've been fantasizing it. Yeah. He, we took one of his, uh, Judson, our media guy. He yeah. has a big. This is Judson right here. Judson. Say what's up, Judson. What's going on, guys? Uh, and we're out doing a shoot and we needed to put our stuff somewhere and you put his ba big backpack on the roof and it worked perfect. He carried all of his media gear in there and it got us talking about, hey, I wonder how far we can go and you know, what do we need to go camping, you know, to do right. some overnight stuff, to take extra fuel and food and all yeah. that accessories. And um, we just haven't done it yet. So maybe you can lead that adventure for I us. I do, I'm ready. All right, let's go now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, got, I got my overnight bag. Guys, let me know in the comments, do you think we should arrange for a camping trip with these things? Go somewhere epic and yeah, go and see how they handle, like not just a blast around the desert, but a few days. Yeah, out a recreational about. vehicle. Yeah, there you go. So in the comments, let us know. Give it a thumbs up if you think we should do that. I definitely do. I'm going to be smashing that thumbs up button. All right, cool. Well, um, we're going to get this car ready and uh, I guess we'll catch up with you guys when we are on the road on the way to the desert. We just got a little start up. It sounds nasty. And here's why. Look at the exhaust. <laughs> Straight pipe Hayabusa. This is going to be so much fun. Can I tell you how much I love my job? This is work. This is work. Well, we made it. We are out here in the middle of this UTV park where basically we have free reign to go wherever we want. We've got some soft sand here, got a dry lake bed over there, we've got all kinds of other stuff, so we're just gonna go rip around and have a good day of it, but what, what an awesome experience this is. I'm used to going to Gorman and places in California where we can do the same type of thing, and it's more like this. You have like the, the rocky stuff and it's more, I don't know, it's not this like salty white sand, but um, yeah, this place looks epic. They're gonna be make some great pictures as well. All the contrast of all the different colors. So this is the quad, this is gonna be the chase vehicle. And then this is the, uh, the bad boy that we're gonna be ripping around in. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh my God. This, this might be the thumbnail right here. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna go get suited up because I'm not gonna wear this to drive. And uh, yeah, I'll check back with you when we're ready to get in the car. All right, so I've got the cameras on the car. Uh, about to go out for the first time, super excited. I'm gonna change over to a GoPro setup. And I do have a microphone. I'm gonna try with a lav mic to see if you can hear me inside. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's gonna work or not, um, but hey, we'll give it a go. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me. If not, then this might just be a nice B-roll segment of me ripping this thing around, but um, we're gonna go for it anyway. See if we can get some audio in there so I can give you some feedback on what it's like as I'm driving rather than afterwards. All right then, so we have two GoPros. This is one, and this is the other one. So far, it feels like a little go-kart. It's awesome. So it's super tight in here. I'm really, I feel like I'm very much enclosed 
and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's actually got a surprising amount of plushness to it. I was expecting it to be a little bit more jarring, but it's definitely not that. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> So right now I'm basically just trying to get a feel for the car, just see how it handles. This is very different from anything else I've ever driven, so I don't just want to go ham. Well, I do want to go ham, but I want to make sure I can do it safely. So just kind of taking our time here a little bit, getting a feel for the car, seeing how it deals with these whoops. Um, first impressions, really cool. <laughs> Okay, so we've had a little drive along this road. We've kind of seen what it's like. Let's start winding on the power a little bit. <laughs> oh my God, it's fun! <laughs> yes! We're gonna go over some of these whoops now. See how she does on the whoops. Oh, like nothing, mate. <laughs> wow. Seriously, it's like, it's literally like it's nothing. Oh my god, this is so much fun! Holy crap! You just go anywhere! So yep, yeah, I want to go here. Done. This is where I'm going. And it's so responsive too. This power steering is legit. It's like so easy. Like that. Uh, two fingers. It, it's not fatiguing at all. jump little jump oh yes oh yes I like this a lot I'm trying to figure out where the f I just come from so I don't know where I am at the moment I'm definitely lost. How the hell have I gotten this lost? I think I see it over there. Call him. I have no idea where I am right now. Uh, so tight. I'm not even sure I can get to my phone. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Let's have a look on Google Maps. Find out where we are. All right. So right now I'm lost. <laughs> I just came ripping, and now I don't know where I am. I just kind of went that way and turned around and went back. And when I came back, the trailer was gone. Okay, let's see. I'm just looking on Google Maps now. Trying to figure out where the hell I am. So, came in that way. Okay, so I think I need to go backwards. Let's see. <laughs> I got lost! I got lost, I was trying to call you! I couldn't find my way back! <laughs> I'm like looking on the map, trying to figure it out! Oh, it's hot. Alright, so. We're here in the middle of nowhere. We just came down, Cole brought me to this spot because it's a 
pretty cool little secluded area where we can look at the car a little bit and give you my impressions now that I'm not strapped in there holding on for dear life. Sir, you've done a very good job with these. <laughs> Thanks, man. It's three years of work and lots of prototypes and testing and development. And Worth just... every second. They are just wildly fun. Like that, that's the, I was driving it and I was like, all right, can I think of some way to like articulate this and like compare it to something? And I was like, no, there isn't. Like yeah. it's just bleeping fun. Yeah. Like that's it. No, it's a unique experience. It's like, uh, you know, I wanted something you can go rip around like a UTV, but right. I'm a race car guy. I wanted that race car feel. Right. I thought there's gotta be a better way to do this. And yeah, here it is. It's a very um, confidence inspiring place to be. Uh, yeah. it's, it's a driver fo focused experience. I, I think the, the, the UTV market missed that, you know, right. the, where the ergonomics of the brake pedal is, the plastic steering wheel, just all that stuff, it doesn't feel right. It right. feels like an afterthought. And this started with a driver's seat and we built everything right. to be very driver centric yeah. to focus on that experience because that's what I felt was missing in the, uh, the, the UTV market. So um, yeah, that's where we started, man. So out here then, I've done like kind of some whoops, I've kind of done some dunes. Actually, I want to go check the out gravel like, road? Yeah. yeah. Or that, how about the lake bed? That's what I mean. Like, yeah, the, the lake bed and then the gravel road, I think, because that was like just that little bit that I did when I was getting lost, just getting after it. Just bah, bah, bah. Yeah. This is actually my first time driving a sequential gearbox vehicle. Yeah. And dude, Isn't I love it, it. I love it. Oh, dude, it was I like, love a, it. I had to have it on this car because yeah. I'd driven Porsche Cup cars. Yeah. So in like 2007, they came out with a GT3 Cup car with a sequential uh -huh. gearbox. And I drove one and I was like, this is the greatest thing in the world. You know, they're a lot more common now, but I just always had fantasies of driving a uh, sequential gearbox on the street, on the track, like yeah. everything had to have it. Cause I, I, I'm a purist in the sense I like to grab gears mm -hmm. still. You know, my Pike Speed car, it has battle shift right. slightly faster. It's a really big deal to get right. that record. But um, just me, if I'm out driving, I wanna, I wanna grab the gears. Oh, and so, so, so rewarding, gearbox, just <laughs> Yeah, having, the, having a true gearbox, six speed, um, it's part of that driver experience that I was talking about. That's, that's a really positive thing. If you wanted a paddle shift, we could definitely kit you out with a paddle shift, right. but um, I just love grabbing gears to that sequential. I one. agree. I want to get back in it and drive it a bit more. I know that Rob Absolutely. needs to go in it. So I feel bad because Rob's got to drive it as well. He, he still hasn't driven it, but yeah. So um, I don't want to take up too much of his time, but I wouldn't mind just getting another little- Dude, let's get you on the lake yeah, bed. little rip. Hey, we better see three digits. Really? Yeah, you can do 100 out there, no problem. Better do it. Jeep. It's got a GPS, so it'll be confirmed. You can't, you confirmed? Can't All right, well, don't threaten me with a good time. Obviously, I just want to go lost. Very easy to do out here. <laughs> but this thing is so much fun. So much fun. I mean, it's just so easy to drive. Like I said, the power steering is wild. It's just so comfortable. Um, the, it actually, like, in terms of comfort in itself, like, dude, this is nice. I'm fully hooked in here, but it doesn't feel bad at all. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm really impressed with this thing. I went over some whoops back there and I was expecting to maybe bottom out or something. None of that. It was just like magic carpet over there. And the cool thing about this is that you can take this from the sand dunes with paddle tires to the track and that's it. Like you can drive it on the asphalt. Like it's wild just how versatile they are. One chassis, all you do is change the wheels and tires, maybe dial in the suspension a little bit and that's it. You could. So really really versatile car if you can call it a car buggy vehicle whatever this is um ah, man i'm sold i want to do more adventures than these these are so much fun okay so where we're doing the 100 mile an hour run there's a jump and apparently i don't want to hit the jump
gonna go check back the other way. <laughs> He's so fucking cool. Also miss that like dip as well. Yeah, those are the kids' problems a little bit later. Yeah. So which is the line? So it's this line through here. got a bit more space so I was being quite cautious then because realistically this isn't my car <laughs> so I hit 80 and then I thought I'd run out of space but there was actually a little bit more room so let's have another go So we still got 10 miles an hour and there is space. There is space. I think if I can just uh, grow my balls a little bit bigger, we can probably do it. Apologize for that misshift. <laughs> oh, I think you're already top gear, weren't you? Uh, oh, might have been actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I grabbed for another one, and there yeah. wasn't anything. No, you were you were boogieing. Oh, okay, cool. I, d I got to 90. I didn't hit the hundred, <laughs> but I do. I think I can give myself a bit more on the bottom end. Like, but I'm just like. I would head further that more way. More this way. Yeah, because we know you, you want to be 100 right here. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and it gets choppier up there. Okay, and it's kind better of predictable that way. that way. I would go further that way and then come back again towards me. With your permission, sir, I shall do that. Permission granted. Thank you. Let's try from here. This gives us a, a bit more space. All right, 100, here we go. Find 10 miles per hour. That was still 90. See, well, your wheels are spinning. Right. So I think we just need better tires, probably. I was gonna say, I, I'm giving it all I got. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what though? What's crazy is when you said to me earlier, oh, you can get into three figures. I was like, no chance. That will feel so terrifying. Yeah. Even when you get to the rough bits over there, it's just nothing. Yeah. Th that's the scary part about this car in the desert. Is yeah. really like. UTVs always feel like they're gonna fall over, so you respect them. You know? <laughs> right. They, they they warn you early, whereas this thing you just faster and faster with all the confidence, and um, you know nobody's gotten hurt in one of these. And it, but it, it gives you so much power. Yeah. It gives you the ability to get into some trouble. Um, but it also weighs so little. You can right. get the brakes checked up. This thing comes to a stop like. Oh, like nothing. Yeah. 
Well, that's it, because I'm coming to the end of here. I get past here, and I'm like, oh, okay, I've got to get on the brakes. And then I give it, like, an extra 100 feet, and then I'm like, oh, okay, now I'm back down to zero. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I always overbreak in these things. Yeah. They just dig in. Dude, this is... Phen I, I have a grin from here, here. Like, <laughs> this is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Did you say there's a jump somewhere? Yeah. <laughs> Get in! That's so much fun! That's so much fun! I literally have the salt flats on my chest. Yes. Like salt sweat. Wow, mate, that was absolutely phenomenal. And 20 hours of driving went into getting to drive this thing <laughs> around for a few hours and it was worth every second. So that's, that's why I tell people, you just got to get in the seat to believe it. You know, it looks cool in the videos, but until you're actually behind the wheel, yeah. it's not real yet. Yeah. So. No, honestly, I can't thank you enough. Yeah. Thank you Thanks so much. Thanks for making much. it real. No, thank you for having me out here and I mean what an amazing place and if you guys are interested in seeing more of this on the channel then leave a comment let me know I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is going to be but uh yeah and obviously if there's any opportunity for me to get involved and it's get wheel time. anybody can get behind the wheel so you simply message us contact us you can set up a private test day you can set up a test drive so these are available to the public now you know it's a it's a, it's a produced car yeah so um yeah we set that sort of stuff up so it doesn't have to be just a dream you can simply get here and we put you behind the wheel there you go. I tell you guys to go out and have your everyday adventures and this absolutely is an adventure you should go on because that was just phenomenal. So yeah, thank you so much. Absolutely, honey. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up because that really helps with the old YouTube algorithms. Subscribe if you aren't already because I would love to see you here again. And I guess until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.